Have you ever pondered about the grandeur of ancient South Indian empires, their rulers, and the legacies they left behind? As we journey back in time, we find ourselves in the midst of three formidable dynasties, the Cholas, Cheras, and Pandyas. Situated in the lush landscapes of South India, these empires had their unique identities and rulers who were instrumental in their rise. The Cholas, hailing from the fertile basin of the Kaveri River, were led by the visionary King Vijayalaya Chola. The Cheras, nestled in the verdant hills of the Western Ghats, saw their genesis under the rule of King Uthian Cheralathan. The Pandyas, stationed near the southernmost tip of the Indian subcontinent, began their journey under the guidance of King Kadungun. These rulers embarked on ambitious conquests, expanding their territories and asserting their power. They laid the foundation of their respective empires, setting the stage for an era of unprecedented growth and prosperity. These three dynasties laid the groundwork for what would become some of the most powerful empires in South Indian history. How did these early empires evolve into powerful kingdoms that left a significant mark on history? Well, let's take a journey back to the golden age of South Indian empires. The Cholas, Cheras and Pandyas soared to great heights during their respective peak periods. The Cholas, under the rule of Raja Raja Chola, and his son Rajendra Chola developed an astoundingly powerful military, enabling them to extend their influence far beyond the Indian subcontinent. The Cheras, on the other hand, amassed immense wealth through their flourishing spice trade with distant lands. Their economic prosperity was matched with a deep dedication to cultural development, as seen in their patronage of literature and art. Meanwhile, the Pandyas, known for their naval strength, left a unique cultural footprint with their remarkable architectural achievements. Key rulers like Nedonjalian, Senguttuvan, and the legendary Chiran Chenguttuvan played pivotal roles in elevating their empires to new heights. The golden age of these empires saw them reaching their zenith in terms of power, wealth, and cultural influence. What led to the downfall of these once mighty empires and what legacy did they leave behind? The decline of the Cholas, Cheras and Pandyas was not an overnight occurrence, but rather a slow process marked by a multitude of factors. These once formidable empires faced invasions from aggressive neighbors, internal conflicts and administrative inefficiencies, all of which gradually eroded their power and prestige. However, the end of these empires did not mean the end of their influence. They left behind an indelible legacy that continues to be felt today. Their grand architectural marvels stand as silent witnesses to their past glory. Their rich literature and inscriptions provide invaluable insights into their society and culture, and their unique cultural practices continue to be part of the diverse fabric of South Indian life. Despite their fall, the Cholas, Cheras and Pandyas left a lasting legacy that continues to shape South Indian culture and history.